Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. So it's back to school season. I'm about to start my third week back at school. And today we're talking about back to school organization. So in the past year, I've learned so, so much about getting organized for school um, and for life. And today I decided I would share my knowledge, some tips and tricks on how to organize um, your files and time. So let's get started. One, one. So what I did is I made a list of all of the subjects that I um, know would have me taking notes or writing things or having papers and stuff. And I wrote down what I think I would need. So for example, in math, I had notes, exercise sheets and handouts, which I put in a binder, and my exercise book for exercises. And for German, I just have one folder that has like dividers in it. Um, and for English, I have one big folder with a notebook. So it's very, varies a lot for me for each subject. Now I'm gonna talk about each organization method I use. I personally really like the thin plastic binders because they're very light and durable and what I like about binders is you can organize all your papers, especially if your teachers give a lot of papers or you take notes. Um, you can organize them chronologically and what I really like about binders um, is that you can have binder dividers. Like I didn't have binder dividers last year and I didn't even know what I was thinking. They saved my life. So what I also like is that you can move around papers and you can rewrite notes and I think that's really good. However, it is also easy to lose papers, especially if you forget to hole punch them or whatever, if they fall out or if papers rip out, but I don't, I've never really had a lot of problems with that. I have a lot of binders, I have almost, I have a binder for almost every subject. So I have binders for French, math, chemistry, psychology, geography and biology. And I really like my binders. Folders are good because they're light, easy to access, and it's easy to move sheets around and use them. The downside is you can't flip through them as easily as with the binder. And depending on which folder you have, you can't divide things either. And they're not so durable and also you can't store things chronologically. I mean, you could, but it gets mixed up very easily. I have folders for German and music class because I don't have that many papers there. Um, so yeah. So I have my notebooks for classes where I get very easily confused as to when we covered each topic and that just makes it very hard for me to study, for example, physics and history. When I work with notebooks, I just write down everything, even if it's scribbles or notes. I stick in all the papers and it's so much easier for me to study and kind of understand the things. So for those classes that are really hard, I have notebooks. Also, I use notebooks for exercise books. So I have notebooks for physics, English, history, and math. I really like the Claire Fontaine no notebooks. notebooks. Um, I just like the quality and the style and I really like them. So yeah. Labeling my binders, notebooks, and folders, I use this label maker and you put like the little tape in and press it and it labels them and I mainly have this because I really love the look and um, because they don't stick 100% well on each material so you can also move them around really easily however if you want it to stick permanently you can of course use a glue so yeah I really like labeling everything with that and for books of course I recommend to wrap them is that what you call it and then of course put a label on them um, but I don't do that because you know if you're lazy like me you, know, you don't have to of course I um, prefer to not have my folders and binders stuffed with old topics. So what I do is I just bought this filing box from Muji and I'm gonna try and put in 
my papers once the subject is finished. And then at the end of the school year, I already did this last year, I filed in all of my papers into these big binders, which is gonna make it hopefully much easier for when I do my graduation exams um, to find information and study. Something that is super important for me is properly labeling your notes. I've had such struggles when I just have like random papers with like information on them, them and I'm like which class does this belong to which what I don't know life so this is what I do first of all I start by writing which class it is um, and then I write which lesson it is which is super important for me um, then I put the date my name and my class number name um, to make sure everything is labeled perfectly and this really really helps me when I study I like using this paper with rounded edges and that works really well for me so these are all of my um, school material organization tips I have for you guys today so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon